Hi guys, welcome back to another Hugh Jeffries video. In this video, we're going to see if ChatGPT can teach us to repair an iPhone. This iPhone 8 is in a functional state, but its screen has serious touch issues. From just swiping and navigating around the operating system, you can see that it's just not responding as it should. I can't access control center and typing is near impossible. While I'm capable of fixing this device on my own, I'm curious to see what ChatGPT will tell us when it comes to phone repair. Is it gonna provide us with any useful info or is it just going to try and send us to the manufacturer or tell us to take it to a professional? I'm interested to see. For those unaware, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligent chatbot that has immense knowledge which it's scraped from the internet, making it one of the smartest AI bots we've seen so far. But what will it have to say about phone repair? I thought I'd start off by seeing what it thought the best options were for my broken phone. Of the recommended options, top of the list is taking it to Apple for service, followed by a third party repair shop, noting I should make sure to find a reputable one. For general advice, I'd say it was on point, but nowhere did it say I should give it a go myself. GPT doesn't recommend it unless we already have prior experience. So it's not too keen on just anyone jumping in and giving it a go. But can it act as an assistant or trainer to those who might not be as experienced? If you run into any issues, will it be able to help us? GPT was able to compile a list of tools and steps required to change our phone screen. But how accurate will it be? Well, only time will tell. It tells us our first step is to remove the two pentalobe screws located at the bottom before we warm up the edges of the screen to help soften the adhesive. But it didn't specify what temperature. Unlike any other written guide, you can just ask it. It recommended 60 to 70 degrees for about three minutes. The closest setting for my heat plate is 80, so that'll have to do. Once the timer has elapsed, it's time to proceed to the next step, where I can use a suction cup to create a gap between the screen and frame. This AI is starting to sound a bit like me. But it's short-lived as it recommends I separate the screen using a spudger instead of the plastic picks I'd normally use. This is working better than I expected, although the spudger is much thicker and provides more leverage. That means you could crack the glass more easily. With the phone now open, it's time to get the screen detached. This is where the AI makes its first mistake. Something that a phone repair rookie would likely do. It suggests we only disconnect the three display cables, leaving the batteries still attached. When asked, it agrees that it should be unplugged, but yet it was not included in the step-by-step -step guide the AI had created for us. Had we left the battery attached, we could have easily fried the LCD backlight circuit, ruining our phone. But what about reassembly? It provides a set of different steps, this time mentioning the need to transfer components from the old screen over to the new one. It reframes from telling us the reason why. But it's because the home button and earpiece cable are programmed to each iPhone. In the case of the home button, a replacement won't function at all, rendering the phone basically unusable. Earlier, the AI mentioned we only needed a Phillips and Pentalobe screwdriver, when in fact, we actually need a third, a tri-wing. Not a big deal, as I have a kit with just about every screwdriver bit imaginable. But if you've gotten this far and realized the AI made a mistake and you didn't have the right screwdriver, you would have not only wasted time, but now be stuck, defeated by a security screw. It's not always the security screws that give you the most grief. Sometimes it's adhesive. If we can't replace the home button, we need to make sure it comes out in one piece. I asked the AI for the best approach and it came up with a few valid solutions. One I use personally for a task like this is heat. So it's back to the heat plate for another round. After which the cable unadhered almost instantly. It's looking like ChatGPT is best at answering direct questions rather than providing a step-by-step -step guide, especially since it missed a few vital steps. But even so, it's still quite impressive that it can come up with answers so quickly. With all the old parts removed, it's time to transfer them to our new screen assembly.
Once we have the home button secured, we can attach the display as per step 2 of our GPT reassembly guide. The close observer will have noticed we've missed something. Can you guess what it is? Adhesive. It's not until step 3 that ChatGPT tells us to install it, which you can't do with the screen already attached. But with everything plugged in, we might as well test out the phone. The good news is the touchscreen is working, but the bad is that True Tone has vanished from Control Center and Settings. As this is an older iPhone, there's a fix, but does the AI know what it is? It does not. It proceeds to write back a paragraph that sounds like it came from an Apple support page, saying that it's only available on select iPhone models and that it's possibly just a bug and I should try resetting the phone or contacting Apple for support. It seems the AI is unaware of the iPhone's anti-third-party repair mechanisms. Apple disables this function on purpose when it detects a new screen. We can fool it by copying the serial number from the old screen over to the new one. I've only gotten this to work on the iPhone 11 and older. It seems this is now encrypted on the newer devices to prevent this. This is also the time that you'd apply your water resistant seal. But unfortunately, I didn't have one that fit, so I'll need to apply that at a later date. Now, all that's left to do is attach the newly programmed display onto the iPhone, attaching its flex cables and the two brackets that go over top. Before closing up the display, I'll wipe down the insides with a microfiber cloth and remove the plastic protective film from the back of the display. After pushing the display back into place, I can fasten the two pentalobe screws into the bottom of the iPhone. Now all that's left to do is remove the plastic protective film. And we're done. So we now have an iPhone 8 with a functional touchscreen that actually works. But what's more interesting is that ChatGPT actually provided some useful information. You just had to know what kind of questions to ask it. It wasn't so good at being a step-by-step -step instruction guide, rather just providing useful information if you got stuck along the way. Like for example, our home button situation. The AI did miss a few steps, like the fact that we should disconnect the battery before working inside the device. There's a high chance of frying the backlight circuitry, which operates on around 30 volts, if you short out the LCD connector while plugging in a new screen. It also said we only needed two screwdrivers. We actually needed three. The tri-wing driver was not mentioned in the list of required parts. So I'd still rely on places like YouTube or even an iFixit tutorial to find out and view a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to disassemble and repair a device. But at the end of the day, if you get stuck with your phone repair or even really any repair in general, ChatGPT can be a good option to actually find a solution to the issue you're facing. Now I can't say for sure that it's going to be correct every time, but it will give you an instant response that can be a lot better than what you might find searching around the internet or what you might receive back from a YouTube comment that you'd leave on a video like this one. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and check out the Repair Tips playlist for more videos just like this one. And if you're looking for any used devices, be sure to check out my online store, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.